Welcome to Pavi Devi Eternity. Let's visit the famous Edinburgh Castle, defender of the nation. The castle has a lot of key attractions. The some of them that we will cover are Mons Mag, Prisons of War, One O'Clock Gun. National War Museum and Half Moon Battery Even before entering the castle from the front yard you get stunning views of the city The castle entrance the seven sisters on the top the seven canons and here is a favorite wartime hero sir william wallace appointed as guardian of the kingdom of scotland he became one of the main leaders of the first war of scottish independence he also defeated an english army at the battle of stirling bridge in september 1297 An American actor called Mel Gibson directed and co-produced a movie based on the life of Sir William Wallace called Brave Heart. Edinburgh Castle is a prominent historic site in the whole of Western Europe. is a gift shop another set of gates strong work of wood and metal a narrow staircase leading to half moon battery as you can see the views are amazing These are the small windows possibly from where the soldiers can see keep safe and attack beautiful view of the city with the sea at the other end from here we can see historical buildings right next to modern ones in harmony these are the cannons facing the entrance of the castle This is the view of the new town under construction from 1793 and this is the view now in 
carefully constructed on top of the volcanic rocks we will now go back in time 3000 years looking at the history of this very place This is from the 1st century. This is when the tribal leaders dealt with Romans. And about 600 years after, when the warriors leave for the battle in England, Edinburgh at that time was also known as Din Aydin Now about 1140s There is a gathering of nation's most powerful people at the very same location 1314 the castle swapped power few times governed by english and scottish it's the arrival of the monmag 1566 when mary queen of scots gave birth to first king of both england and scotland The honours of Scotland rediscovered. This is the one o'clock gun. Historically, sailors used to set their clocks at the one o'clock gun. Visiting the National War Museum now. Beautiful gilded frame, life size painting. A beautiful 25 pounder field gun from World War II restored in its field condition. So, this is how the gun would have looked in World War II in a field. More than 12,000 of these were made that time. A collection of things to buy. This 
some postcards beautiful chess sets and souvenirs again some historical artifacts this is a oath of alliance signed by 200 men in the eyes of british army these men soldiers became rebels by signing this oath beautiful sword there is a little movie if someone likes a display of medals and medallions Let's have a look inside prisons of war. They have tried to recreate how it would have been looking. as we can see they all have hammocks made from jute possibly a bit of table with the food they might be having at that time stairs leading up to a fireplace and a game few more beds it looked really dark and grim even with the modern lighting fitted We can only imagine how cold it would get in 1700s.
and I suppose that is why the prisoners were given hammocks, because if they lay on the floor, they would probably freeze to death. coming up is mons mag a gun which could fire a 150 kg gun stone for up to 3.2 km it's a very powerful gun restored to its original beauty was proudly named the biggest gun of all I hope you all enjoyed the video please subscribe to and keep watching Pavidev Eternity thank you